Doing aesthetic shots is really hard. I can't do a whole video aesthetic. I can't. I'm not good enough. Welcome to Cat and Raven Designs. I'm aesthetic trash. Same. <laughs> <laughs> That's Cat. I'm Raven, and we're here to make soap for Bernadette Banner today. So I did my best to try and recreate a little bit of the feeling of Bernadette's videos because they are always so good. Bernadette's videos are always super aesthetic, very on point. I love them, but it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's so much work. So much respect for her. Oh my gosh. So, hi. We make cold process soap from scratch. This is how we start it. I may have briefly considered, because we've been wanting to do a Bernadette soap for months now, I may have briefly considered like, oh, I know, we'll do it the old Victorian way. So we'll, it'll be like a historical recreation of Victorian soap. And then I looked into how the Victorians made soap. It's a lot of work. Not that what we do isn't already a certain amount of work, but uh, yeah, I don't really want to be trying to get the lie from ashes Ain't nobody got time for that. So it's a lot easier to make soap nowadays than it was back in the Victorian time. So we're gonna make it our way. If you're new here, hi. We do a series where we make soap inspired by some of our favorite YouTubers. I'll go ahead and put a link up in the iCard for some of the previous soaps that we've made. We've done Nerdy Crafter, Jenna Marbles, Mariah Elizabeth, Evan and Caitlin, Delightful, Sophia Nygaard. We've done a ton of cool ones if you wanna check them out. So today we're doing the awesome Bernadette Banner. If you have not checked her out before, her channel is so much fun. I'll put a link down in the description box for her channel. And I always let everybody know when we do a soap like this, we do not sell the soap because it is meant to be a gift for the person it's being made for. So we're gonna be making nine bars today. We're going to do a giveaway with three of them and we're gonna do our best to send the other six to Bernadette. I know she just moved out of the country to England, so she doesn't have a P.O. box set up at the time that we're filming this. So we will do our best to try and reach out to her and offer to send these to her. If you wanna try and help us out, go ahead and leave her a comment, send her a message, let her know Cat and Raven made a soap for you so that maybe she'll come and check the video out and we can try and get a hold of her to send her some bars. So to dive right in, I have our mix of oils here and I'm going to be adding in our lye and then we're going to start mixing up our colors. I'm going to keep this relatively simple today. My inspiration is here which is the Bernadette shoes made by American Duchess which is so cute. I really want some American Duchess shoes but they're so cute. Do they have boots? Yeah. So for our fragrance we're using Library from Candle Science which just seemed really on point for Bernadette to stabilize it because it's not a super strong scent like some of the other fragrances we use. I did put some rose kale and clay in with the fragrance oil to make sure that it hangs in there really good and that'll add some extra slip to the bars. Let's get some fragrance in here or the lye in here. So this is lye and distilled water. In just a second I'm going to put some sodium lactate in there. Let's give it a blend. keep it pretty liquidy because I have a lot of layers on this one. I'm getting ambitious. Should I turn the oven on? Uh, I think I'm gonna be all right. Okay. I feel like every time you've said that, that's been like a famous last words thing. Shut up. I don't like these words that you're using with me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I've been tagged in this post and I don't like it. <laughs> so starting off with black iron oxide for the bottom black layer. Because we're only doing one loaf, it'll be a very tiny amount of soap. Just so weird anymore when we do these super exclusive batches because they're so much smaller than what we normally do anymore. So I want this to be thick enough that it's going to set up relatively quickly. Granted, we've never used this fragrance oil before, so we'll see how it goes. Start with our first layer here. Raven has shown me the design that she's got in mind for this one, and she is being both brave and ambitious. <laughs> Sounds like a fun descriptor. I'm okay with being brave and ambitious. Look at that, guys. <laughs> it's just the first layer. <laughs> oh, she wiped it up. 
<laughs> Unscrupulous. So we're gonna let this first layer set up for a second and then we will come back to pour the next layer. So this next one is Honey Blush. Rose Kale and Clay that's mixed in with the fragrance is gonna be a little more obvious in this one. Going forward here, I'm gonna be fast forwarding through the rest of these layers because the rest of this is gonna be jumping back and forth between this sort of beigey brown and black. So hang tight, here we go. Now that our base is poured, we're going to be making our frosting. So I'm going to be doing the heat transfer method, which is not a method we normally use, but it actually works out really well for frosting. So this is our fresh lye water. I don't know how well you can tell that the cup is all steamy because it is really hot. So I have our coconut oil and our palm oil, and this is sustainably harvested palm oil in here. And I'm just going to pour that real hot lye in there. You can see it's already starting to melt the oils. Cause she hot. Soon may the wellerman come to bring us sugar and tea and drum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take a leave and go. Catching the sea shanties. All right, so that's about melted down enough that I can go ahead and add in the rest of our liquid oils. Now we're gonna do something that we have never done before, which is we're gonna do our frosting, but we're not gonna color it. We're just gonna leave it au naturel. I mean, someday I think it'd be really cool to do a video where we like hardcore make soap from scratch, like no stick blender, no colorants, none of that. Just do a completely old fashioned style. It's a slightly more complicated process because you would have to get live from ashes yourself instead of just ordering it on the internet. Can we at least use a scale? I don't know. I don't know how they did it back then. I'd be curious to find out. I think it'd be really interesting. I mean, I'm sure it would be very interesting. However, if I remember correctly, one of the issues back then with soap was that like... Lie burns! Yes! <laughs> All right, well, let me blend this up here. So we're gonna let this frosting set up enough so that we can pipe it. So if there's an ad with YouTube, we'll let that run and we'll be right back. Welcome back. Our frosting is set up and ready to go. I have one of these uh, very super close star tips. I don't know what to call this, but uh, ready to go here. And let's get started. Oh, it's this one. Oops. <laughs> All right, well, I guess it's gonna look like uh, the top of the Oron soap. Actually, I feel like that's very... Uh, works. Yeah. Remember that one kind of reminded us of like... Lace and yeah. stuff? Yeah, that does work out well. Well, I know a lot of people like the top on that soap too. It's kind of strange seeing our frosting with no color. <laughs> it's really pretty though. Yeah, I think it's gonna work out well. I hope that Bernadette will like it. You know, normally we talk about like, what's our favorite style video that that YouTuber does? Bring up some individual videos that we really like. Corset I'm making. I like all of her videos. I, I like all the videos, especially the ones of corsets. And the lady shirt, the lady homes. Oh my God, Lady Holmes is really good. I I just love her sense of humor. I love yes. how it'll be this like beautiful transatlantic accent with, you know, very, very educated verbiage and vocabulary, but then also like meme queening it up. <laughs> she's, she's fun. I like her a lot. And then what, what type of pet did we have to look up? Because you're like, I don't think Victoria's <laughs> had that kind of a pet. And then you found out, Nope, they were all the rage. I did not know that like guinea pigs were a big deal in Victorian times. I had no idea. That's <laughs> kind of cool. Okay, I went way extra with this for It looks Oops. good. <laughs> it's really big. Honestly, it looks really cool on this one. It's so pretty, yes? Yes, it's very pretty. You agree too, Cameron, don't you? Who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> okay. You'll see what shenanigans I pulled. Oh no. And here's the thing, like, for the longest time, my only experience with guinea pigs was a science teacher in elementary school who had a guinea pig in the classroom. And the guinea pig was just really noisy and stinky. And I have since learned that the issue there was 
probably the way that guinea pig was being kept and not so much the guinea pig as a whole, as a species. <laughs> but if you take good care of them, that's apparently not a thing. So I really like Cesario, who is uh, Bernadette's adorable guinea pig. So now I've got the frosting on, I'm gonna be doing a mica drizzle, which is just some almond oil mixed with, in this case, shimmer gold. I really want it to have a bit of bling. Hey, Bernadette's the reason that I finally switched shampoo and conditioner. Oh, because you did the function of beauty with yes. her code? Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, I coated it in gold. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can do anything else here in terms of, like, more gold. That's pretty gold. Let me turn it so you can see it a little better. Look at that. Oh. Drip, drip, drip. <laughs> All right, what I'm gonna finish this off with, just to give it a little bit of sparkle, well, a little bit more sparkle, I suppose, because if the Victorians were about anything, it's being extra. So <laughs> I have some of the biodegradable glitter from the Good Glitter which we are now affiliates with, which is super exciting. Um, this is one that we paid for ourselves. So far, all the glitter that we've purchased previously with Good Glitter, because if you've been with us for a while, you know we've used the Good Glitter for months and just absolutely loved them. And they invited us to join their affiliate program. So we are now in that. There is a link down in the description box. If you want to use our code MEOWIT, it will get you 10% off. Plus you help support us, which is super fun. Also, Good Glitter is awesome. Gotta love that biodegradable glitter. I put just a little bit on here. See, I am actually capable of using glitter. Guys, look. Look what Raven did. I did a glitter. Look. One of us. One <laughs> of us. One of us. I'm spraying it with rubbing alcohol. In this case right now it's 70% because that's all we can buy. <sighs> We normally use 90%, but uh, getting a hold of 90% running alcohol right now is really difficult. Uh, but it'll help the mica stick on there and help the glitter stick. You know, this is not what I was originally thinking it was going to be, but I really like it. Same. I think it's going to look so cool. Oh, I want to cut it. I want to cut it. <laughs> All right. Well, this needs to sit for at least overnight. I'll check it in the morning, see how soft it is. We've never used this fragrance oil before, so I'm not sure how it's gonna perform. Uh, but we will pop it out of the mold once it's ready and we'll cut it down into bars and we'll see how we did. So we'll catch you in a minute. Bye. Bye. All right, welcome back. We have our Bernadette Banner loaf looking lovely. So just a, a quick heads up on a couple of things. So this video is going up the day after launch. So we just had the launch of the collection that is Victorian inspired. So if you haven't checked it out, head on down. Link is in the description to check out what soaps are left. Obviously this is being recorded beforehand. I have no idea what's left. It's the day after launch. Go check it out. Grab your soaps while you can. We are also gonna be doing a giveaway with three of these bars. Down in the description box, we're also going to have a link to a Google form where you can put in your name for the giveaway. We just need your first and last name or, you know, at least some sort of indicator, you know, like if your name is really common, we may need your last initial so we know which one is the one and your email so we can pick you for winning a bar. Normally we would have that the Sunday following the upload, but that's not enough time. <laughs> and this soap got made a little late, so it's not gonna be ready until one, two, three, for the 14th of April. So at the moment, I think we're gonna schedule the giveaway for the 11th of April, potentially. So there's gonna be a few weeks for you to enter before we're gonna be able to send the bars up. So get your name in while you got the chance. We have a special helper today to cut the loaf. You want to say hi? I'm just waving and saying hi. Oh, yeah, you want to say hi too? Hello, <laughs> Alice speaking here. We have an audience today. So. <laughs> <laughs> First time here. All right, so Cameron is going to cut the loaf for us, and Cameron is Kat's son. Kat, would you mind uh, balancing the loaf for him so it doesn't uh, give you problems? Yes. Hey, Cameron, this is Vanya. Yeah. I've never met the soap cutter. <laughs> I see it. Oh, there's the wooden one. That's Hi, Greg. Greg. Yeah. Hi, Greg. Greg. I wish Greg. 
Hey, Mom, why are we show Greg again and give him a chance to say hi? Oh, I remember Greg's pronouns are they, them. Greg's okay. them but. Say hi. Greg's fine. Yes. <laughs> Greg. Right now we've got Vanya handling things. So, all right, you ready? Yes. Go for it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Yes. Thank you. First cut. All right, cat. How do we do? All right, go for it. Ooh, look it's at that. So nice. All right, I'm gonna put a picture on screen now of the inspiration again. How do you think we did? I think the color ended up looking a little bit more like the Edwardian version of the Bernadette shoe. <laughs> but overall, I think it came out well. Oh, thumbs up, thank you. I'm giving it a thumbs up. You did a good job. I don't All know right. how this was made. All right, kiddos, scoot your patoots. All the back up, please. Thank you. There we go. Awesome. I'm really happy with that, how that came out. I mean, I know it was a little ambitious to do all those lines and layers, but I think they came out really well. And that top is so pretty. It is. Like a lot of the scents we get are really strong. This is subtle, but it's really nice. Yeah. It's that sandalwood. Really picking up on that sandalwood. Awesome. So again, if you want to give a shout out over to Bernadette, let her know, hey, Cat and Raven made a soap for you. We would love her to see this, so that we can send her some bars. And if you want to win some bars for yourself, go ahead and hit up that Google Forms down in the description so you can win a bar. Please excuse the continued noise of my neighbor doing construction at nearly 10 o'clock at night. My dude, some sense of restraint, please. Oy. <laughs> well, these are the finished Bernadette Banner bars. Really loving those stripes, looking very cool. That brown is nice too. And of course, the good glitter on top, making a nice little extra accent there. Alrighty, so that's it for this video. Thank you again. Please go check out Bernadette Banner's channel. She is a blast. We will catch you for another video. This is going up on a Saturday. Next video should be another Saturday from now. Go ahead and check out our shop if you want to grab yourself a soap. This is your soap mom reminder to hydrate. And please, don't lick the soap. So with that, we'll catch you another time. Bye, everybody.